This is a left knee. We're going to place a suture in the lateral meniscus, and so I have the scope positioned laterally. I like to use a skid to make easy placement of the meniscal cinch two into the joint. So again, my scope's lateral. Here's my medial portal. Here's my skid. So here's the meniscal cinch two device. And I want to point out, first of all, there's two buttons, one and two, that we will deploy. But I want to show you one is advanced further than two initially because it's preloaded. The other thing is I like to use a depth stop, and typically I like to go to 18 millimeters. Uh, you can set anywhere from 12 to 18 by 2 millimeters. It works like this, where we pass the black depth stop over the meniscal cinch tube. It locks into place. You can see the 18 right there, and there's the 18 millimeters exiting out the depth stop. So with my skid in place, we bring in meniscal cinch two directly over the skid and remove the skid. So now we're in the lateral compartment. I'm going to pick my spot here for my first deployment. So now here we're coming to the lateral meniscus where we're going to place our suture. So I kind of find my spot within the meniscus. And I'm going to go ahead. One's already preloaded, so I'm going to pass through the meniscus to the depth stop of 18. And then I'll deliver number one to a hard stop. And then I bring number one back to where it matches up to number two. Clicks in place. I've got my first implant deployed. So I'm going to come up to my meniscus for my second implant. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to bring number two down to the speed bump. You can see there's a little raised area on the device. Right there it stops. So I bring number two down to that speed bump. and That just brings extra suture into the joint, which will make securing the knot much easier. So now I'm going to come to my next chosen position right here. I'm going to come through the meniscus again to my 18th depth stop, 18 millimeters, as so. And then I just bring number two all the way down. Hard stop there. So I just bring it back to match up to number one. And there was a click right there. So this is all one-handed use of the meniscal cinch two. So now I've got my second implant deployed. Now I think it's very important. I don't do any setting of the knot at this point. The first thing I do is we want to pass through our our knot pusher combination suture cutter. And what I like to do is I like to hold the scope. I like my assistant to pull directly in line of the shaft of the knot pusher to get the slack out. So we'll, we'll pull back a little bit. You see here coming out nicely. Then I like to end up toward the first implant position. So you can see. Then I come to number one spot here. We'll do our final tensioning here. So you can see it's nice and tight. And then we just cut it off right here with our knot cutter. So there's our final suture in place. So we've got excellent tension. You can see here we've got excellent tension on the suture. All one-handed. Very simple to use. Very pleased with that.